Country Club, it's your boy Sebastian, it's me, X3! Welcome back to my channel, welcome back to Stupid Shit. I hope you guys enjoyed the last video, it was a Russell Crate unboxing, I know it didn't do that well, uh, whatever. But today we have everyone's favorite series back, and Royal Rumble was Sunday, so you already know people have to complain about shit because that's just the way things work in the world. It, you, you, you just can't satisfy everybody. And this week, I, I'm, a, I'm, this was like a record from last week to now, from this point. It is like, what, Friday, February 1st. From last week, all the way here, people been showing the fuck out when it comes to stupid shit. It was, I, I could honestly have made like two stupid shit videos because people were just, just throwing them out. Just throwing stupid shit out. Like, so this first tweet, it comes from a conversation this dude was having on a timeline, okay? And someone said, when does Royal Rumble end? i like to know my timeline won't be a useless waste of time. So this dude is, you know, deal with it. And other guy says, enjoy your sweaty soap opera. And then, here's how the stupid shit kicks in. It is WWE. Nobody really enjoys it. We enjoy bitching about how bad Vince sucks at booking. Ah. Nobody really enjoys it. We enjoy bitching about how bad Vince sucks at booking. That's just one. That's just one tweet. That's just one tweet. This is a whole video. This is the first tweet. It's just one. It's just one tweet and it's really fucking stupid already. On the subject of Royal Rumble Weekend, this stupid shit happened. I changed my mind about Seth Rollins. Just saw him reject a little kid of signing anything in the middle of a hotel. You, sir, are a motherfucking asshole. I don't care how tired you are. I'm still waiting to get my money from my Mania photo last year, which sucked. Fuck them kids! Fuck you and them kids! When I say stupid, you say shit! Stupid! Shit! Stupid! Shit! When I say entitled, you say bitch! Entitled! Bitch! Entitled! Bitch! When will people learn that superstars don't owe you shit? They bust their ass all year round. They travel, they have a grueling schedule. They're still humans at the end of the day. Stop treating them like animals. Stop acting so fucking entitled. Dude, if they don't want to sign shit, they don't have to! They do not! You're not... I, do, I don't get the sense of entitlement from these fucking wrestling fans. This shit is annoying. You need to have respect for superstars. Everybody, even on the indies, everywhere, have respect for these superstars. They put their bodies on the line for your entertainment. Stop acting like a piece of shit. So this tweet was about the Women's Royal Rumble, which I really enjoyed, but this person did not. Casey, waste a spot. Rhea, waste a spot. Zia, waste a spot. Candice, waste a spot. Io Shaddai, waste a spot. Kyrie, waste a spot. Triple H does not care about past women or even the main roster women at this point. That's the dumbest fucking thing I saw all night. That was just fucking stupid. L literally, the first ever Women's Royal Rumble was circled around one, making history. Oh, that's dope as hell. The women finally have a Royal Rumble match. And then two, fucking nostalgia. There were so many legends and past divas and women coming from this fucking, for this match. And now this year, you had the future of the women's division. How was that a waste of spot? And like, people were like, oh, they didn't get the pops because no one knew who they were. They should have just stayed. Oh. Uh, now people know who these girls are because they were fucking killing it in the Royal Rumble match. Like, what? That's not a waste of space. That's your future. These are future ch champions. Like, sh shut the fuck up. I know I say this every stupid shit episode, but remember that time I always say that Vince doesn't listen to fans, nor should he? <clears throat> R-Truth doesn't come out at number 30 because he doesn't understand. And then The Rock comes out at number 30. Instead, the whole crowd pops, he wins, and we got Rock versus Brock 2 at WrestleMania. How amazing would that be? Not even amazing at, at any juncture at all. I would have liked to see Rock bit there, but not win the shit, not Rock versus Brock. No, maybe a little surprise. Have you some milk? Yeah, that's cool. I, but no, like, no. 
No. So on SmackDown Live, our truth became the United States champion, which was fucking wild and I loved it. But this guy says, hashtag US championship is now officially part of Titus Catering. Hashtag US champion is a glorified jobber. What a way to bring prestige back to an already dead title on the road to WrestleMania 35. No wonder why this title will continue to be an afterthought as seen on the kickoff show on pay-per-view. Happy Black History Month, everybody. Speaking of SmackDown and championships, Daniel Bryan, being the heel vegan he is, decides to introduce a new eco-friendly title. Well, you'd think people will understand that this is a storyline, but this guy was not so fucking happy. Jesus at AEW Wrestling can't come fast enough. Come on, don't destroy SmackDown too. <clears throat> it was the better of the two shows. I got a cutting edge idea. Let's make an eco-friendly belt for Hill Heat at Cody Rhodes. What's the AEW belt going to be made of? I'm guessing gold. Oh my, you really think people would understand that this is a storyline. It's not real. Oh my God. Like, <clears throat> These AEW fans are really starting to piss me off. I love the Young Bucks. I love Cody. I want this company to succeed so bad. But these fucking fans are really making it hard for me to fucking like this company. They're making it hard for me. You know what I really hate? I cannot stand what for the fucking life of me. Every time some stupid fucking dirt sheet tweets, Hey, this, this person is reportedly unhappy at WWE. And these fucking virgins come out of nowhere with their fucking Cody Rhodes gifts. <laughs> you hear that? <laughs> Stop! I don't want to see that shit anymore! Twitter, Twitter, hear me out. Twitter, please, for the love of fucking God, save me! Please, introduce a feature where I don't have to see gifts or pictures any fucking more! Please, you do the mute tweet button, like the, the fucking, the mute tweet feature, the, you can mute keywords, all this shit. Mute, let me mute! Gifts, let me mute memes. I'm sick of seeing uh, on my fucking timeline. You know what, I need a breather. So with that being said, I now present to you this week in racist virginity. They like savage, why you got a 12 car garage and you only got Is driving 15 cars The girls come easy and the drugs come cheap Well, I'll stay skinny cause we just won't eat And we'll hang out in the coolest bars In the VIP with the movie stars Every good gold digger's gonna wind up there Every playboy bunny with a bleach blonde hair And we'll hide out in the private rooms With the latest dictionary of today's Zuzu They'll get you And that was this week in Racist Virginity Remember that time I made Royal Rumble predictions and I said if Finn Balor wins that everyone would have to suck my dick? Well, my dick went unsucked for that night. But don't let that distract you from the fact that Brock Lesnar almost lost that match. That was a really good match. I fucking enjoyed it. My heart was pounding the whole time. I was shaking. It was a really good match. Finn Balor had people shook, man. He, he, he I, look, I thought he had it. But this guy says, might as well just have Finn Balor leave WWE if he just gets buried like this. <clears> hmm. <throat> Oh, oh my god, I just stopped yelling. I How was that a burial? He did not get buried. He lost a title match and he almost won it. It wasn't a two minutes fucking squash match. It was the most offense I've seen anyone get on Brock Lesnar in quite some fucking time. How the fuck was that a burial? Do I need to make wrestling terms wrestling fans use incorrectly part two so you motherfuckers can stop tweeting stupid shit like this? Not having a WrestleMania sign is cheap and lazy. Look at where they were. Look around. Look, just look, look around. Tell me, where the fuck were they gonna hang a WrestleMania sign? A big ass WrestleMania sign in that ballpark. Where? 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 This is why your talent is leaving to AEW. How the fuck did this get 127 likes? I'm surprised 
this comment section just doesn't have in it. Like, under the same tweet about Rollins winning the Royal Rumble, this guy says, one of the worst rumbles I've ever watched. Why? Why is that? Why is it one of the worst rumbles you've ever watched? Please enlighten me because I feel like I know the reason and I'm going to show you right now. Oh my God. Oh, oh. Come on, Kenny. Come on, Kenny. And that's today's video. Hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, please remember to leave a like, subscribe if you haven't already, comment down below your thoughts on this video. Don't forget I have my OG Stop Peach Super Shirt shirts still available in my merch store. And I have new ones come in white in the hoodies. They come in gray in the shirts. I'm sorry, I forgot to put them in white on the shirts. And they're, they're in green, obviously. But, hey, Jordan Grace likes the shirts, so you should too. All right, um, I need some water. My, my throat hurts. Blow the bases, you're up, aka let's bring it home You can't get this smile off my face whenever I'm in my zone Yeah, life's dope, overdose, money over chosen